Hi guys, I'm Justin. And I'm Nikki. Welcome to Potato and Bok Choy, uh, our personal podcast for Nikki Marina and I to share our wonderful ideas and uh, uh, share whatever, whatever's on our mind this week. Yeah, so we're going to just be talking about basically nerd shit, right? Yeah, pretty much like what you usually do in your live stream. Oh except, yeah. Except more like, okay, we have it here. It's or actually just important. us and like actually organized and... <laughs> Somewhat organized, like Somewhat you know, organized. our off the cuff thing always seems to get people's attention and they like it. And it yeah, for some reason. But yeah, I'll let you. Take, yeah, you take the lead <laughs> on this. So this is our intro episode. This is more of like, hey, get to know us. Um, what you should be expecting from our little channel. Uh, honestly, this is something super serious. It's fun. We'll be getting into like Marvel things when they come up, DC hating when it comes up. And, uh, <laughs> Lots of DC hating. <laughs> Always. And uh, yeah, but today's episode is just going to be about how we got into comics and nerddom uh, from comics, manga, anime, and you know, even funny how we met. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's start off with you. How did you get into comics, ma'am? Well, um, basically, it started from a pretty young age. Um, as you know, and as a lot of my follow my following knows, uh, you know, I, you know, we, we were pretty poor coming up, uh, you know, living off of you know, West Timer, I would say, like around that that area, and um, like we had like no money, no fucking money, and one of the only things we could do for recreation was go to Barnes and Noble, and we couldn't buy the fucking books because we were fucking poor, so <laughs> uh, so it's I just the expensive library, yeah, and. And so I basically lived in like the young adults section, which was adjacent to the manga and comics. And so I would you know, I would read you know like Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys, series of unfortunate events, and, and I would hop over to the comic section. Um, and I you know some manga I touched a little bit, but it was mostly it was it was mostly like the the superhero comics, like little DC and Marvel. But I but I gravitated towards Marvel way more, um, especially Peter Parker. Uh, Spider-Man was my favorite at the time because I was just like, you know, it, 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 it kind of gave me a little hope that, you know, things could work out for me because, you know, Peter Parker was super poor and, you know, later on in life I found out that Peter Parker is actually a character based very much on Stan Lee's early life. Um, <clears throat> being, you know, a poor Jewish boy with, like, fucking six brothers or some shit, like, in a really small home in New York, um, and so, like, that was, like, you know, that, that was, that was my intro, you know, into the world of comics back then, and then I just stayed fangirling through the Spider-Man movies and, <laughs> and stuff, and, um, believe it or not, Fantastic Four, a little bit, I know. I mean, the I first guess. one was great. The first one was good. What? It wasn't great. The first one was good. It was a decent movie. The second one, no. But... Our villain is a cloud. Yeah. Villain, Galactus is a cloud, like the fuck. But, um, but yeah, and, um, yeah, and I just stayed very, I just, you know, I, and I, I read comics in, like, my early high school years, but I think I, I, but I'm definitely more of like a, a movie person, mm. and so when the MCU kicked off, like, oh, my God, that's my, that's my shit, you know, <laughs> so, um, I'm a huge fan of cinema and stuff, so that's how I got started. Mm, that's cool, I mean, like, you know, everyone's, every, how everyone gets to comics is so fun, or funny how they get into it, like, for me, it was through Brian, like, my older brother. He got me, he didn't get me into comics, he had comics, and he did the typical Big Brother thing, like, you can't touch it, yeah. you can't see it, you can't have it. But, you know, it was also, he grew up in the 90s boom, where, like, comics were, like, these big collectible things, because no one really knew what made them collectible. And so, like, they started hollowing, foilographing, like, foilographing, foiling out these uh, comic book covers, and he had a bunch of them just waiting, and they didn't match much of anything. So I just ended up taking some of them, and they were pretty cool. Uh, read some of them, and honestly, I didn't grab. I I went I went through like all of the big ones. Like I went through uh, DC, went through Marvel. There was this other one. Um, I think I'm not sure it was Dark Horse or Atomic Comics, something like that. And you know, I stuck with DC, and uh, you know, just like you, I kind of resonated towards Peter Parker, just because I grew up with you know the animated series and the cartoons. Like you know, for me, my actual first introduction was. 
uh, 19, the 1990s Iron Man, mm. and just like you know, seeing him pull the suit from the ground into the, into the armor, I was like, yeah. that is the future, and this needs to happen today. So, got interested in that. Uh, then I started finding out who was Iron Man, who are these characters. Uh, when the internet finally made the big hit in like the 2000s, when I, anyone had very good access. You know, Wikipedia was my friend. I yeah. found out so much more about all the characters I never knew about. Like, honestly, like, right after Spider-Man, um, uh, Spider-Man, Scarlet Spider, Ben Ray, Spider-Man, uh, mine is, another favorite of mine is actually Nightwing and then, um, uh, Moon Knight, mm -hmm. because I just love their fighting styles and everything, and I actually found out so much more, and, uh, you know, it is, that's how I ended up being able to do that, and, Still, even when we were in high school, being a comic book nerd wasn't that cool yet. You know, it was still it like, wasn't. it was still on the hush hush. But you know, if you brought comics, no one would be like, oh, nerd. Not at our place. Not at our high school. You know, just been like, oh, you got comics. Yeah. Or like, you get those uppity girls. Like, hey, okay. Yeah. And uh, from that from that point on, I would just do the same thing. Go to Barnes and Nobles. Uh, uh, what's that other bookstore called? The red one. Uh, the Borders. Borders. I would say it oh, Borders yeah. a lot. Borders, that's right. Uh, oh, that, was a, that was the one. Borders, half price books, whoever could, find, books, yeah. whoever could find a place that would have comics or like manga or anything I would just go into and read for a bit if I could. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much how I got into comics and uh, my, how my wisdom grew so vast, so fast. Oh, but now, how did you get into anime? Because I do love this story. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I, so, you know, like, and like we all started, like we all started on the same anime, I feel, like Pokemon, Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, the monster battle, you know, anime of that time, you know. Um, I'm about, like monster battle. That's a good way to make that genre. Dang, that's a nice title. Yeah, I, 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 I call that the monster battle trilogy of millennials that millennials were raised on. It's the monster battle trilogy. It's Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Digimon. I mean, Trinity. Uh, trilogy, like the, what did I say? Trilogy. Trilogy. Like they're like one after the other. They're the Trinity. Yeah, did I say Trinity or did I say Trilogy? Trilogy. Oh, like. whatever. <laughs> trinity. That's the that's the Trinity. That's the that's the Trinity of Monster Battle, um, anime that we all started on. But my first obsession was Inuyasha, and oh my god, like yeah, that was my first in it. Like that was my first obsession with Inuyasha, and it was back when like we had MySpace. And we were all like HTML coding experts, and I remember my MySpace. You remember my MySpace? It was uh, decked the fuck out in Inuyasha, Kagome, everything. Yeah, this like, color scheme was red and white. Uh, yeah, it was like pink coral. Like we, I had like like Japanese cherry blossoms. Like I was a straight up weeaboo, like straight up from the jump at 15 years old, and. Um, and so, yeah, I was, so Inuyasha was my shit. That was, like, my shit in high school. Um, and, you know, I would watch Dragon Ball and stuff at, you know, uh, like, Adult Swim and shit um, when I was able to sneak to turn the TV on that late um, in cable. But we lived in, like, an extended stay motel, so it was, like, super small, and I could not, couldn't get away with it a lot. Um... I, I, I usually was trying to find Teen Titans anyway. But anyway, um, and so, like, that was my big thing in high school. And then I took a break because I went to the Air Force Academy, and I just didn't have time. I didn't have time to enjoy much of anything. Like, I just didn't. Like, all I did was study and, and, and DD and study and DD and yeah, try not to fail and then eventually drink. But, um... <laughs> But then, and then the you know, Yasha final act came out, and then I dove back into it. I was like, okay, finish the final act. Um, and then I took a, you know, and I took a break because, like, you know, as you know, like life happened and got, in the, you know, and I was just so so busy. And then, um, and then I was diagnosed with PTSD in twenty seventeen, and um, and I know you started in, you know, you had been watching anime basically this entire time. And uh, you started reintroducing me to anime that you thought that I would enjoy um, because 
I was like watching the same few shows over and over again, which is, you know, a, a big symptom of like very severe depression and anxiety um, and just P PTSD in general, just like not wanting to try anything new. So all we watched was like 30 Rock and The Disastrous Life of Psyche K, which is like one of the first animes that you that you used to bring me back in. Um, and, uh, and then you introduced me to ones like Seven Deadly Sins and, and then My Hero Academia, and I really, really latched on. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, uh, uh, as everyone knows, as, as the world knows, I latched on very hard to My Hero Academia. Um, and, um, and that, I mean, that just threw me back into the world. That just threw me back into the anime world over the last, what, two, three years? Two, three, four, four, three, four years? Four years, so? yeah. Four years? Mm -hmm. over the, yeah. yeah. Over the past four years, it just threw me back into that. Threw me back into that um, that world, and now here I am. Um, it's it's a huge part of what I do. Huge part of what I do, and you know, like we're watching anime all the time. So funny enough, yeah, we actually had anime on right before yeah, we started Death doing. Yeah, Death Notice literally paused on the TV right now. It's Halloween season, man. I feel like this is appropriate. Yeah, true, true. See from. Again, like how I got into comic books, my introduction to anime was through my older brother mm. because, you know, I pretty much, thanks to him, I got exposed to a lot of other stuff that I wouldn't have been able to until, like, way later in my life. Uh, but, you know, I found out about Dragon Ball Z first. Like, because, again, 90s. Like, the, the whole yeah. theme song, Dragon, Dragon, Stop the Dragon, Dragon yeah, Ball. Yeah. It's, like, epic. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I also was introduced to Ron Moe, uh is it Rama one half or Rama half? I don't know. Um, this and that was a very mature anime that I did not need to see at a young age. Most anime, are pretty yeah. Mature. And then <laughs> this of the North Star. Like I found so many weird animes because of him. And just girl, that's another anime movie that uh, is bloody, but it's pretty cool. Um, and you know, I found out I found those out at, at a younger age. But like, of course, same thing with you. Uh, Pokemon, Digimon, and my overall favorite because of the card game Yu Gi Oh. And uh, yep. and because of that, I was able to kind of branch off into other things. Because, like, I've seen some weird ones that came on for kids. Like, there was uh, Fighting Food Fighters, I think. It was a very weird one. Sh Shaman King, which has its, you know, yeah, which has its, like, redo, uh, redux in Netflix right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a bunch of other ones. And, uh, you know, I, every once in a while, I, I'll take a break from anime and come back to it. And I was in middle school, high school, because, like, again, it's so lame to watch those Japanese cartoons. Right. Like, you know, funny thing, I would still kind of use some of those things, I would still use some of the things I saw in anime and emulate them in real life. Like, you know how some kids did the Naruto run? Yeah. I did the Sasuke sit. The Sasuke sit was... Which is pretty much, I had my hands clasped above, oh, like, oh, right, yeah. right in front of my face. And it made me kind of, like, it made me seem like I was thinking, but it was only, it was kind of, like, a way for me to, like, hold down all my overactive energy and my anxiety into like a one place like uh, Makes sense. yeah I do the anime push oh, up yeah, the little glasses all the time I feel you gotta like, do it like this you have to do it like oh, I've seen it where it's like you know like where the fingers I've aren't down I've seen it too but, I, but this is like no, for if me you're, that's if you're, the way for me as a One Piece fan there's one way I do every once in a while when I'm just feeling like super dumb with things I'd like do it with the palm of my like the palm of my hand where it's just like uh, you know you just fix the edges and it was so stupid but it was like it felt cool i prefer the kyoya ochiri method wow that's so cute but it's the kyoya ochiri ochiri method now they can only make lenses that can kind of like glimmer like as you do that they like no like they make those they I do thought that was literally a, for weaves like i thought that was like photoshop no oh they God. make those oh they God. make they literally make those it's hilarious <laughs> But anyway. Yeah, but like I but I then later on I found back into old school Dragon Ball, so which made me appreciate Dragon Ball Z. Then I went into One Piece. Oh god, I went into One Piece. Yeah, you went into One Piece. Like you went in. I went in and I still go in every once in a while. I dip my toe in, I wave high and I go back out. Because I can't stay there too long. We're at a thousand episodes. Cannot do that. That's insane. I haven't I haven't 
I haven't dove into that, and I don't know when I'm going to be ready to, but... I mean, honestly, whenever you want to, we can. I'm just saying it's a lot, and yeah. it's long. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm trying, I'm trying to wait till like, there is absolutely nothing. I don't know if that time will ever come, though. I'm just going to have to fit it in, because every, like... Honest, yeah. Even yeah. when my hero is on a break. Well, maybe now that my hero is on a break. Yep, I don't know. Nah, I guess a discussion for another time. Nah, that's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then, you know, I ended up... And because of Hulu, I ended up... And, oh, actually, I, I saw actually found one piece was on Hulu. Mm -hmm. And that introduced me to, like, a bunch of other ones, which were, like... Pervy animes? Yeah. So many. I know, it was like... It's like, Oh My Goddess, and... Like, actually, that's one you actually like caught me watching one day because you were uh, you were staying with me at my parents' house and I was just like watching anime. You were downstairs and I'm like, "What are you doing? Are you watching anime?" I'm like, "No." Even even you as my girlfriend at the time, I was like, I was like, "No, don't look at me." Oh my god. No, I'm married. But yeah, was uh, and that's pretty much how I got into anime, maintained and just stay with it. You know, it's just. It's, again, like, one of the key things I kind of, like, enjoy in life because it's always better than live television because it's, it's not boring. <laughs> well, and also we came up in the age of, like, when hand-drawn animation was at its peak. Ah, uh, yes. Um, like, as far as, like, American, you know, we came up, like, in the heyday of DreamWorks and, like, Renaissance Disney. I would we even... Had movies, like... Rotel Grotto and Prince of Egypt. Dude, we had all you of know. the 90s, like, DC animation. That and was that, fire. We grew up in the heyday, I think, of hand-drawn animation. And nothing, like, as as animation has evolved to computer animation, which is not, which is not bad, but to me, as a 90s kid, it's not the same. Like, there's nothing like hand-drawn. And I understand that, like, it's cheaper, it's quicker... Like, this was the natural evolution of things, but anime is the only... Anime is kind of like one of those only outlets where we can still enjoy hand-drawn. Yeah. For me. Yeah, I agree. It's just, like, it's... Like, the, the best thing about anime is that there are so many different artworks. Like, sure, some do follow, like, a certain style or a certain way of flowing, but then... You have some that come out of nowhere with this like very like looks like watercolor, mm -hmm. or there are some that are very sharp, or like uh, you know like uh, off the top of my head you uh, have uh, uh, we have the house husband which is very different because it's more like the well, way it animates it's comic book style where it's like stills. Well, I don't even think you can even call that animation. Mm -hmm. But then you also have like other ones like right now they're like more like very CGI and the other ones that are just well, you know, like, like your lie in April is yeah. stunning. Attack on Titan is stunning. Like, yeah. that that animation is, like, uh, like, you know, I, of course I watch for the story and everything about it, but Jesus, the animation is just oh, yeah, mind-blowing. And then, not to mean all, everything by Studio Ghibli. It's yeah. just, like, that's just beautiful. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, right. oh, how can you make that so pretty? Right. And yet it's so sad at the same time. It's like, it's like talking to a Japanese, uh, Andrew Muffin. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... What about animes that you're watching right now? What's like, like since we're starting off and like some people might not know who we are. Well, well, I mean, we just finished My Hero and we we are watching Hunter Hunter, right? We are on season five doing the Chimera and arc. Which we 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 did that deep. fast. Yeah, we did it's that fast. very heavy, and so I know we're taking that slow. Um, we just finished Black Clover, so we're waiting on that. Um, Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisan. Onisan, yes. That shit, hilarious. Um, what else are we watching? We're watching Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. We're watching, well, we just finished Seven Deadly Sins. Oh. Um. I feel like the movie. Yeah, I did too. We need to finish that. <laughs> we need to do it again. Like, it not, I didn't, it, it wasn't was, because the movie was boring. It's just because I was tired. Yeah, it was late too. Yeah, we were it was like, late. We, we started we, it late. We did a binge and then we're like, oh, cool, let's finish this. Yeah, like, we were just really too ambitious. Um, what else do I want to watch? Um, we're watching Zombieland Saga. Yeah, that was, a, that was a, you know, that was a gem. I was like, did not expect yeah. that to be that good. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, <clears throat> and, um, we just started a new one. We just started, what, The Duke of Death and... 
That one's very sweet. But it is sweet. Like, that one has a lot going on. It does have a lot going on. That's really sweet. Um, so by, what do you mean by what I'm watching is what we're watching? We oh, are. no, I'm watching some without you. Oh, you are. I have to do my job. Oh, yeah, you do. You do do that. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, a lot of my followers know that because, I, because I'm a jumpy bitch with a complex PTSD, uh, Justin very often vets anime. Uh, before he lets me see them. Like, he didn't let me watch Attack on Titan for several years until he gave me the clear in, like, 2019. Um, he, honestly, that was the first time well you took that one. That was really shocking. Yeah, like, I was, damn. honestly, like, I was fine with that. It's Your Lie in April that I haven't been able to finish, and that one is the only one, like, I'm actually worried about. And you didn't let me start that one for a long time. And I know you still won't let me start Violet Evergarden. I feel like we're up to that point, but honestly, we've been doing so much. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much. Uh, so, I think that's all I'm... That Those are the big ones that I'm watching right now. Yashahime. Oh my god, how could I forget? Yashahime, which is the basically the sequel series to Inuyasha. Um, of course, why would I not be watching that? So, I'm watching that. Um, oh, and Black Clover. Yeah, I, I said that. I think I said Black Clover. But yeah, I think that's what I'm watching. Mm. And if I if I think of something else, then I guess <laughs> I'll blurt it out. Like, mm. I've been watching uh, a lot of animation, though. Uh, I've been watching Vanitas. Uh, it's a it's a very interesting vampire anime. It's not like very stereotypical vampire. It's like oh. And, uh, you know, I, I do a lot of, like, one-episode hit-misses where, like, oh, this just seems interesting. I watched the first episode, like, oh, that's a dud. Do like, you decide at the end of a first episode? Usually. Because a lot of people are, like, like, I personally, like, I like to give things a chance. Like, it's not a great sign if you don't have me hooked by the first episode. Because most good animes, like, they can hook you in in one episode. But I well, usually give it three. For me, it's, well, the thing is, oh, I cannot allow that much time to go by. And like wait for like sometimes it'll be a new 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 anime like it's like fresh out I'm getting it week by week and like oh. I will, I will watch the first episode if it's good okay then I'll start reading the descriptions because like if you pass the first episode okay we go through if you go through the second ep and you know if the first episode is a wash and uh, you know I'll start reading your descriptions only I'm like all right you worth it and then I'll look at reviews look at the artwork if it's interesting like you know. Uh, a bunch of easy guys we I've 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 watched and Yo, I've, so many. I've had to vet so many I'm like uh nope uh yep uh nope like uh Goblin Slayer that one that one's like eh. Goblin Slayer I'm not um enough for that one yet. Uh that one starts off pretty rough. Like, oh yeah. Extremely yes. in the roughest Yeah, rough, the yeah roughest, roughest. If the roughest way you can Oh yeah, Demon Slayer. I forgot Demon Slayer. Um but yeah. And then also I did uh Shield Hero. That one is good. It's just more of like, man, I want season two before I start doing this because I don't like... Oh, I, I forgot Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm sorry. I'm really <laughs> when I said like blurting them out as I remember them. Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. Finish that one. That one's a great arc too. It's so amazing and if okay. there's not a season two, I am... The ending I'm song starting is, a riot. The ending song is so The fire. endings and the beginning. Like, endings and the openers are so fucking good. Like, they are every single one bop. Yeah. So then yeah. the first one was my favorite though. Like I said, like, oh, Lost, Lost in Paradise. Yeah, that's so good. So good. Uh, but yeah, uh, Shield Heroes one. I'm like, I, 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 that one waiting for season two to come out because I do not want you to wait to see to wait for that. Like honestly, sometimes I'll wait until like season two or three. Oh, you don't want me to start it until season two is out. Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. I do that. I've done that with some of the animes. I'm like, is, is, is season two, season three. Okay, we're good. Go in, cause like at cause with seven deadly sins, you only had to wait till like season season four. Yeah. Like for me, I had to wait. I finished season one. Had to do had to do those crappy three episode season twos and season three itself. Oh, season yeah. two. I've had to wait. You didn't have to so much, so yeah, I nice. do that sometimes. Um, Violet Evergarden was a beautiful one, but it's very emotional. Very emotional. Um. Shaman King and then Redux because I started watching that by myself. It was for, just just for the shiggles. All the Yu-Gi-Oh series just because it's funny. It's really hilarious. Yeah, yeah it's just like because <laughs> like as a player of the game, like you you can't do that. 
And then you just see, like, you see Yugi just, like, pulling out crap out of the air. I'm like, that's cheating. Like, this shit is harder than the, than the, than the, <laughs> the show makes it look, than the anime makes it look. Oh, no. Like, I used to have this very stupid idea that the, okay, so there's a difference between the sub and the dub, like, in the Japanese release and the English release of right. the anime. So, in the Japanese release, they can have the full card art with the text on it, everything, attack points, defense points, right? So, in the American version, though, they can't do that. Oh, gosh. Because that's considered a commercial. And oh. for a legal reason, they can't do that. So, they'll 86 a lot of the stuff and just have, like, for spell cards, it'll just be the picture of the card and the spell symbol or the picture of a monster and, like, the attribute level and attack and defense points, whatever. And the thing is, though, I thought... You had to memorize that. Oh. Like, I thought there was an encyclopedia or something that you just had to have in your pocket or, like, a database that you can look up and just know what your cards do. Just off. the mind power. Yeah, just just off the cuff. And that's why I was like, you know, compared to that, this game is easy. Because I thought it would be like, I have to know what this random card does that someone gave me and, uh, that I rarely use, and I just have to make it work. How could I not just BS that? Random thought. Sometimes when I post videos with you, I know one we, I did the one we did together at Comic Con. Mm -hmm. Once in a while, someone will come on there in the comments and be like, "I'm pretty sure I played him in Yu-Gi-Oh!" Once. I'm pretty and sure I'm you like, have. And I'm like, you very well may have. I'm sure you did because Justin has a very distinct face. So do I? Yeah. So mm. you probably you probably did. So that's really funny. But anyway, moving on. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that's it for the animes, at least, that I've been watching privately on my own and betting. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Prince of Tennis. That's just, like, that's just, a, that's just a love of mine. Oh, and uh, when you hate... Kuroko no Basket. Kuroko no Basket. Oh, my it's so cool. <laughs> a whole episode just dedicated to that. Honestly, a whole episode dedicated to that. It's so great. All right. <laughs> now, uh, to kind of wrap this up, I wanted to go over... Uh, how we met because it kind of ties into like how we got into comics and how we did this. So, my more you take the lead on this you one. Me? Oh yeah. yeah, you got this one. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> so we met in high school. Um, was it? We met like junior year. We met junior year AP US history. I remember. Um, and um, and uh, we actually, you know, you know, we started talking and. Um, and we started, you know, bonding over a love of comics, over Marvel. Um, and, uh, you know, making jokes and stuff back and forth. I remember, like, it was, uh, yeah, that, like, that's what our, that's so funny, like, that's what our Florida consisted of. That's so funny. I remember that now. Like, it's all coming back to me. Um, and then, I remember Justin asked me, he was like, have you ever read Infinity Gauntlet? And I was like, no, that's one I haven't read. And he's like, oh my god, you have to read Infinity Gauntlet. It's so dope. Like, it'll blow your mind. It's like the best. And so he lent it to me. He lent me his copy of Infinity Gauntlet. And I took it home. And, um, and I read it at home. I read it at the gym. I read it, like, in class, like, in biology with Teresa and Dick. Um, <laughs> and, um... Ramon. Ramon. Um... And and I and I finished it really quickly and I returned it and I was like, Oh my god, this is the like this is the dopest thing ever. So, um that kindled, you know, a friendship, whatever, and uh we eventually started dating, uh, almost thirteen years, uh, come November, which is like next month. Um and um yeah, that's that's basically how we met and how like you know, Marvel and stuff and comics ties into that, um, which is why I've, uh, you know, everyone knows my obsession with the movies Infinity War and Endgame, um, besides, you know, the entire MCU as a whole, and, um, and, you know, besides me just loving the movies, I'm like, yeah, it's because it means a lot to me, because that's, you know, Infinity Gauntlet, that storyline, like, that's how we met, like, that's how we started, that's how we, that's how, what we first connected over, so, when Infinity War and Endgame came out, uh, consecutively, um, it was a big deal for me, um, and obviously it was a very big deal at the end of Avengers, when Thanos showed up in the after credit scene, I, um, I absolutely, I was absolutely, like, 
like I, like I screamed. I was like, "Oh shit, it's going down!" So collectively lost our minds. Yeah, I was like, "Fuck yes!" So, um, so yeah, that's how that's how we met. And everyone loves this story. Yeah, nerds together forever. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. I think that's a good place to end this first episode. Yeah, I think so. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys, you know, get to know us a little bit more. At least me on this end. They know you pretty well. A lot of people know me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll see you next week. We'll be trying to do this every week. Post it, like, well, we'll figure it out after I post yeah, this. We'll and, uh, <laughs> yeah, guys, we'll, we'll have fun. All right, well, uh, this is Justin. I'm the key. And this is Potato and Bok Choy. Hey. Peace.